Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. And Jeremiah. And today we are going to talk about plants. Ooh, that's so exciting. The world of plants. And why are we talking about plants? Well, we recently went to the flower market and we got to see a lot of different kinds of plants. And we started to think, wait a minute, plants, they're everywhere. And, and people use plants for different reasons. Well, let's find out what kind of things plants are used for. So this is the peppermint plant. Now, a peppermint plant is not a food. It is actually a medicine. People grow this kind of plant for medicine. Yeah. Right? So when we have this plant, it is good for your body. Now, there are some other plants that you can have for medicine. Some plants, people grow oh, these plants. Oh, oh, ginger. Ginger, ginger is a plant, it's kind of a root. Uh, another one is aloe vera. Aloe vera is a kind of plant that people grow. And what do we use aloe vera for? Oh, it's like a kind of cream that you would put on to smooth your skin. It's very healthy for your skin. It's for smoothing your skin, but also when people get sunburned, they can oh, take the, the leaves of an aloe vera and they can break it and you can put that on your arms or on your skin and it will help with sunburns or when you cut yourself, you can put aloe vera on your skin. So plants, you can grow them for medicine and many people, that's why some people go to the flower market and they find plants that they can grow in their garden or put in their house and use it for medicine. There are some people who get plants to grow food, mm -hmm. like vegetables and salads, and then some people get plants to, well, to bring color into their house, such as? Like flowers. Flowers, exactly. So here are some flowers, right? Yeah. And as you see, these are very colorful flowers, and people like to bring flowers into their house uh, to bring color, and uh, also something about interesting about flowers, when you Look at them. You can also smell these flowers. Smell it. Okay. Some flowers smell very nice. What What are some flowers that have a very good smell? Well, one of the what in my opinion, this is probably the best flower I've smelled. Yeah. What kind of What is that kind of a plant? For this example? is a rose. Uh, roses and roses. They smell good. Yep. So this is a flower. Yep. What What is this? Well, you see here. These are petals. The petals. pink thing. Okay, good. Yeah, the petals. All right, so this is the petals, the flowers. Okay, what about the green ones? What are the green things called? Leaves. Say it again. Leaves. And what are the leaves for? To collect water. Yes, and how do how do how do plants grow? Oh, they collect the sun rays. Okay. Which give them a, it's like they give them energy to live. There you That's go. Right. That's right. That's what the leaves are for. Very bottom of the flower of the plant is what? What is the that? The roots. Say it again. The roots. Uh, the roots. And what happens in the roots? Well, the roots collect the water from the soil. Okay. And then they grow. And the roots can grow very deep, right? It's amazing. There were so many people at the flower market. Why? It's just flowers, right? Plant and plants. And plants. Well, people love flowers and plants because they love to grow these things. Now, is here's a question. Is Mama, your mom, no. is she good at growing plants? No. No. What, what happens to the plants when she buys them? They die. Oh, why do they die? Because my mom doesn't give them sunshine and water. I think she forgets to take care of them. Because she has so many other things to do. Well, it's a good thing that you're not a plant, right, Jeremiah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, friends. Well, thanks again for joining us here as we talk about plants, what they are, what the things they can do for us, and, uh, you know, how they smell. Hmm. I love that smell, though. It's a nice smell. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks again for joining us here today, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.